It's time to find out what spicy chicken sando you really hate. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to see if we can predict which fast foods you voted as your least favorites, but first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp, and therapy, as you know, is one of my most favorites. Mm -hmm. You've heard us talk about therapy plenty before. Therapy is my safe space to untangle my thoughts and make sense of myself. I'm a better, easier breathing me because of it. And there are a lot of people out there who could benefit from therapy but really struggle with that kind of face-to-face -face interaction. It can sometimes be intimidating or, or uncomfortable to take that first step to actually find a therapist and then meet with them. But BetterHelp will meet you at your own comfort level. With BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video session, or even through messaging without video if that's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. To get started, all you gotta do is go to betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning Answer a few quick questions, and BetterHelp will match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And look, often the first therapist you match with might not be the right fit for you. So finding the right therapist can be a little bit like dating, and sometimes you need to go through a few different therapists before finding the one that you really click with. That's why it's so great that with BetterHelp, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. And you can keep doing it until you find that great match. So if you're ready to embrace therapy like we have, you can give BetterHelp a try and get 10% off your first month. Click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, there's no better start to my morning than hating on gross fast food items and chucking bags of beans at a board. Unless I win, then it's an even better start. We ask you what fast food menu items you hate more than soggy underwear, and over 17,000 of you spilled the tea. It's time for Scornhole, Worst Fast Food Edition. Welcome to the Scornhole Field Zone. We're gonna kick things off today the way I like to kick every day off. Uh, with spicy chicken sandwiches. You know yes. me, just eating spicy chicken sandwiches every day. How about five of them? But yeah. it's the worst ones. There ain't no Popeyes even on here because it's too good. Correct. Yeah. It's it's. Which do you think the mythical beasts think is the worst now, of the of we, these? We used to think that the BK chicken sandwich was really really good when it was that ch chicken thing that whatever they called it something weird. They changed the recipe. It was so good they changed the recipe. I don't know what happened. Um, not too spicy, not too bad. Nothing like it was though. Kind of small. Oh, Kentucky Fried. Now, now they're going for more of a traditional thing here, you know? I think their spiciness is just the sauce. Pickles, special sauce. Mm. Not bad. They're kind of trying to do a Popeyes thing not as good as Popeyes. Mm -hmm. Jack in the Box. Mm. I like to emphasize the box part. This might need to go back in the box. Try just a little. That's the worst one so far. Very nugget-like. How would you describe the spiciness? Um, confusing. You know what I mean? Like, It's a peppery spice. It's a peppery spice. I'm not confused anymore. Wendy's, that, that is a sad it's looking. Sad. That's it's sad. A sad. And you looking. know what Wendy's could do. You know what Wendy could She's do. She's capable of so much. Yeah. Hmm. But not, people love Wendy's. Not great. McDonald's. Now this, they got a lot of meat hang, which I like. Do you have a try? Look at it. It looks like South Carolina. Well, that one, that particular one. What does yours look like? What state does your chicken sandwich look like? Um. Oh, South Carolina. South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, they all look the same. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to eat the meat hang. A lot of breading. It's definitely the sweetest chicken. It's like sugar on it. It's not great. You ready? I won last time, so I'm going for the whole. This is, this is difficult. Very difficult. Because we're voting on what you like the least or what you think you like the least. That's the thing that is confusing about this game. It's not what you think, it's what you think you think. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you probably didn't even have this, but you still want to participate. So we have to think about what you think you would think. I bet you that the most people think that they've had the McDonald's and probably have. 
And they think they've had it and they think what about it? That they don't like it. So I'm starting with McDonald's. But have they had it? Or they thought they had it? I think they, I think the most people have had the McDonald's chicken sandwich out of all these. I'm Ooh. on the board. Wow. And I'm relieved to Man, at least register a point. I was definitely in, I was uh, over here in Purple Town as well. Not just because it's my new favorite color, you know, for 2023. Yeah. So you can't do that. What? You can't get, you can't get behind somebody. Listen, you won last time and let me just say, there was a cheat. I'm spotting you. There was a cheat, but you didn't even need the cheat. The cheat ended up being completely unnecessary. That's right. So I would, I would just appreciate it if you would stand in the place where I stand when, when you go, which is kind of like a little bit further away, like and another step. Stand in the place where you stand. Yeah. Now face north. Okay. So you can't do that. Yeah, that's the one thing. I didn't even know you could so see that. So I'm going to have to ask you to you know go back gonna, over to the scornhole bench. I'm going to put both my hands down my pants. Okay. As long as they stay there, I don't care. Oh, oh yeah, you slid right off, man. I don't like these purple bags, mad dog. I have got to hedge <laughs> my bets. They hit the thing and they fly away. I am most impressed in this low category with KFC. People like to hate on Burger King. Poor Burger King. Oh, hey, 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 oh, okay. What? Uh, hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm just getting ready. I mean, I do have on pleats again today, but I mean, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Woo! I am all over that hole. <laughs> uh, I want to go McDonald's again, but I just don't like these purple bags, but I'm going for it. Now I got the, the risk of s sending you into the, uh, the hole. Send me. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's slick, isn't it? I hate these purple bags. Okay. I hate them! I hate these purple bags! I can see people hating on Jack in the Box, too. So I'm gonna do that. I bet you I can get two in the hole. Yep, oh, two in the hole. Okay. <laughs> I've lost my, that's fine. Just, just so you don't think I'm crazy. You may think I'm crazy already. It isn't that I think that a different color bag flies differently because like a different color car would drive differently. Uh, Lucas and I have discussed this. This is actually a completely different fabric than the rest of the bags. I'm not, I'm not crazy. It's a, it's a heavier fabric. You're not The crazy. rest of them came in a kit and it's very soft and supple. And this feels like if you were like in sackcloth and ashes, like mourning the loss of a loved one, like they did in biblical times, you would wear this. But all you're throwing is purple. I'm not throwing anymore because I can't make it land on the board. Okay. Um, the Jack in the Box one was not good. Oh, God. There you go. It's on the board. And then I'm going to negate your progress. Woo! All over the holes. Okay. I, I've got to somehow, I've got to go high and get in that hole without dropping you in the hole. If you go in that hole, all three of mine are going in. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going back to McDonald's. I'm feeling, am I done? You're going back to the podium. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, he's, I feel like I wanted to keep tossing. I just wanted to keep tossing. Which one do you want to eat again? That's the real question. KFC. Well, my, my question was, which one do you think is the worst? Jack in the Box is the, uh, Jack okay. in the Box and McDonald's are both bad. Okay. Do you think that the mythical beast Agreed with that. Uh, I have no idea. Probably not. Okay, so if in order from least bad to worst, according to the Mythical Beasts, we have Wendy's for one point, KFC for two points, Jack in the Box uh, for three points, McDonald's oh. for four points, which means the worst fast food chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich is Burger King Spicy BK Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Red bean bags were five points. You know what? I, I should have known when they changed the recipe, they made it worse and everybody talked about it. I should have gone with that. Tacos. Jack in the Box has- Many tacos a, a, and other tacos. A splendid taco. But they look awful. And you know, they, they look like they're trying a complete, they're playing a completely different game, but I think people really like these. I love it because they make it and then they deep fry it as a whole, if I'm not mistaken. Chipotle. How are they even on the list? Do they even, 
They even do crunchy tacos? I mean, that's like real, that's like real beef right there. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm, that's tasty. That's incomparable. Yeah, I mean, can you complain? No. Taco Bell, it's got the name Taco in the name of the restaurant. You ever think about that? I mean, everybody eats Taco Bell. It doesn't matter whether you like it or not. So it's the McDonald's of this round. Everybody has an opinion. Man, the acidity of the beef really hits you after having eaten these two. Definitely. Wow. Wow. Is Del Taco the same as a Taco Bell taco? A little bit different. In acidity? Hmm. But does everybody have a point of reference for Del Taco? We didn't know about it until we moved out here. I know. I like it better than the Taco Bell taco. What do you think? My least favorite is the Taco Bell taco. I don't think anybody's voting for Chipotle. It's too handmade and high quality and like the cows are happy and all that type of stuff. Yeah, right, right. Well, I'm not happy anymore. The Jack in the Box is my favorite, but I just don't think enough people are championing it. Uh, do, they're doing what? Championing it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I may have to head some bets there. But yeah, I, I think most people are gonna hate on Del Taco, even though I think it's better than Taco Bell. Stay, no, don't, go further next time. <laughs> Man, if you don't have a point of reference for something, like if you never had Del Taco. I think you people then, like to hate. Then you're like, well, I don't even, I've never even had that. <clears throat> They make the buzzer sound when they do it? Yeah, I agree. 17,000. Because if you live out here, you're comparing Del Taco and Taco Bell, you're gonna think Taco Bell's better than Del Taco, most people will. And I don't even have to consider the purple. Yeah, purple's not even an option. After all, you're complaining. Oh, that's not, oh, oh gosh. All right, so I'm sticking with this. I'm either gonna hold it or knock you off the bat. Oh, oh, it teetered. Brett, what is the experience of um, cornhole in the pleated pants? Because we saw the shuffleboard with the pleat, and I, it felt looked more natural than the than the cornhole. Well, I pleat. do want to let you know it feels incredible <laughs> because the front part of my pants has not touched my privates this entire time, and so there's a freedom of movement that happens. I touched my privates in round one. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. No, I wanted to go in the hole! <laughs> are we are we committing to blue? Uh, I just want to get the blue in the hole. You gotta be careful, you, know you might knock yourself right I'm, off of that. I'm a little scared, but let's see. I, I've, I've gotta, I gotta stave you off before I move to Taco Bell. Oh God. You, you staved me off already. I hate it. I link, hate it. Link, link, link. I'm moving as well, but I don't know if I'm moving to Taco Bell or Jack in the Box. That would I, think be people, I think people might have opinions about Jack in the Box. They're great. They're great, you know. That taco is my favorite. Deep fried. Woo! <sighs> I'm sticking with Del Taco, because I know it got, I know it's in the top two. Yeah, oh, yes! You yeah. said stay. Um, just to keep my options, could you, you, could, you could knock me off easily. I try to get in the hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which one do you want to eat again? Chipotle. Jack in the box, homie. Chipotle is so better. It's so greasy. The least worst taco, according to the Mythical Beasts, is Chipotle's for one point, followed by Taco Bell for two points, Del Taco oh, dang it. for Dude, three I points. Just, yeah, I won't have any kind of faith in you. I should have gone all Jack. Yeah, which means the worst fast food tacos from Jack in the Box, meaning the red bean bags were worth four points. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, the tie is scored, and what? this is your no. final round. A what? lot on the line. How's that possible? Are you serious? Yeah, it's it's eighteen to eighteen. That's never happened in this game. You are both of legal age. And you know what else? What? No cornholes yet. 
yet. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, I forgot to tell you what's on the line, and it is it is more than just your pride because the winner gets hand-fed a baby corn cob from Corny Grandma, and you know when she puts her fingers in your mouth, um, it feels so good. It's tough to get motivated by a prize like that. Just so you know, I, this, just, just so you understand, you know, I, I like to win, but... My, my Nana always put her fingers in my mouth. Yeah. It'd be like okay. nostalgia okay. to roll over. This round is a little bit different because we have a lineup of some of the most notorious discontinued fast food menu items of all time. And yeah. the Mythical Kitcheneers recreated those using things from those fast food establishments. Cool. So which one did uh, the Mythical Beasts think was the worst idea out of all of these? McDonald's Hulu Burger, I think. Hulu? Yes, Hula. H Oh yeah, it's the Hulu burger <laughs> streaming now. <laughs> Hula, Hula burger. <laughs> so hold on, there's no burger. It's just pineapple and cheese. But there's still ketchup on it. Two slices of cheese. That is, that is strange. Mm. It's not great, but it's mostly just weird. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's stupid. How about a seafood salad? From Taco Bell, they, they're they throwing shrimp in something? Oh, I broke it. Mm, this is oh. this is pretty dry. Where's the, is those little shrimps the little, seafood? Yeah, little fast food shrimps. <laughs> that was the tagline on the commercial. Those little shrimps is the seafood. <laughs> that is good, underwhelming. Good tagline. It is very underwhelming. Now this though, Burger King Whopperito? Yes. Of course, without the cheese, because we forgot to add the cheese. Oh, they take the, they don't even do what they did at McDonald's and just slice a burger in half. They chop. They crumble it. They crumble that crap? Flame broiled and crumbled. I like this idea. Though. I like how you open things up and show everybody so I can just eat a normal one. <laughs> mm. Somebody's got to put work in, man. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the best tasting thing out here. Yeah, I, I like that as an idea. It's handable. Instead of us trying to remember the name of this, can you just tell us? Cinnabon Pizzeri, uh, I think this, maybe Pizzerino. This, the the Pe Netflix pizza. Pizza bun. Pizza bun. They, re they really tried this, huh? They were trying to get into the, to the meal sector. The meal sector? Out of the dessert. Like, yeah, like so savory, yeah. You eat your meal, then you eat your dessert. That is not great. But would people be turned off by the very idea of it? I don't think it's horrible, but it's, yeah, it's horrible. This is just Mountain Dew and orange juice? Yes. Morning Dew, is that what they called it? Stevie, are Mountain you responding? Dew are, are you responding in that way? They should have called it Morning Dew. Because. <laughs> yeah. You don't have the information and you're retrieving it? Maybe. <laughs> you're Googling. Do you hear you? my echo? Are you Googling? I am the echo of David because that's what's happening uh -oh. right now. Uh -uh. I, um, that's not good, man. Hold on. It's kind of like a mimosa for children. It's kind of like, hey, kids, get on the mimosa Yeah, train all the early. kids need that Mountain Dew right when they wake up. Um, Caffeine and OJ? No, this isn't bad at all. It's not good but it's probably the best thing on this table. I will agree with that. It sounded good to me. Okay, we're tied up. So I'm gonna let go you go first. No, no, so you go again. Because I won last time. Yeah. If I'm voting, I'm not voting for the morning dew because I think this sounds like a good idea. I'm like, man, I want to try that. I can do that on my own. I'm gonna do that today. A seafood salad sounds stupid. Pizza bun gives me hope, which was dashed. Uh, I gotta go with the hula burger, round one. Yes! Scored hole! <laughs> impressive, impressive. That's how you do it. When it hadn't been done, you just slide it right in there, shoot, disappear. I just think the idea of a seafood salad from Taco Bell, the way it lands on the mind, not appetizing. Sounds a little heinous. Oh gosh. There you go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. 
Oh I'm, gosh. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Yeah, oh, no. dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta stick, I gotta stick with it. Oh gosh! Dang it, I can't win now. I can't it's win. It's gotta be. Yeah, you can't win. It's got you want me to do this one through the legs? Yeah, yeah, you get cocky. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You really have to screw up at this point to lose. He's going for Taco Bell again. Uh, He's landed a oh. point. And finally, just just to jot my eyes and cross my T's, should I go with Cinnabon or Taco Bell as getting a vote? I think the Cinnabon sounds pretty dumb. Oh yeah, right there. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, see, that was a good try. It's a Josh. good try. It's a good try. <laughs> the least worst menu item idea, according to the Mythical Beasts, is Burger King's Whopperito for one point. You're right. Agreed. Followed by Taco Bell's Mountain Dew AM for two points. I agree. Cinnabon's Pizza Bun for three points. Yeah. Taco Bell seafood salad for uh, four points, which means the worst fast food menu item is McDonald's hula burger. And uh, Link, get Corny that grandma. mouth ready We're for some street. nostalgia. We're building a relationship. Oh, yeah, we are. I got a baby corn for my baby uh, boy. This is, aw this is awkward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, open wide. Um, yum, yum, yum. Um, yum, yum, yum. A little wider. Little wider. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now chew. Yeah, push, push it, push it more. Push it. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna make you suffer through any more of this. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. I'm Alex. I'm Danny. And we just got married. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Quick. He needs watch to look out. Sounds like somebody's dropping stuff. <laughs> He needs to look more relieved. Click the top link to watch us give classic phrases much needed modern updates in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. And oh.